Madison, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Isaac Butch coming at you live and direct all the way from up here in Washington State, baby. You already know how we do up here in the upper left coast, baby. We turn all the way up, baby. We turn all the way up up here, man. I'm so excited to be able to get to know you guys, get to grow with you guys over these next couple of weeks like it's gonna be next level i'm hoping that you're ready to next level you better have your seat belts buckled because that's just what we do here with wake up nation baby we figure out how to take you to the next level i'm so excited that your principal mr bailey reached out to me and said hey look isaac i got some students that are ready to figure it out ready to take it to the next level i mean this is a special group but i'm telling you there's a way that we can just next level there's some people in this group that have some ideas inside of them that have like this next level inside of them and they just need a little bit of direction i'm telling you we're gonna next level there's some people in this group like they don't understand their potential yet but i'm telling you isaac if you can come in and show them the potential you can help them access what it is that you've been able to access I said look principal Bailey you got me man I'm right here for you I wish I could be there with you guys just face to face but you know there's this little thing called COVID that's prohibiting me from hopping on a plane and getting down there to you guys so with that with that we're going to turn up digitally man so welcome to my home here in Washington state so what are we going to be jumping into what are we going to dive into over the next couple of weeks man what we're going to dive into is really figuring out how we can develop your leadership skills how we can develop your self-value and self-worth and how we can develop your community there as a school like what can we do to make sure that you are an effective piece in this puzzle called life and i'm gonna tell you right now if you'll just lock in i'm telling you gonna next level that's just what happens you just gonna next level so lock in and i promise you we're gonna get you where it is that you want to go so check this out man we're gonna start off this thing with building a caring community man how can we build a caring community i'll tell you this as i was coming up as i was growing up man i had this feeling with the things that i was going through like people just didn't care like let's just keep it 1000 people just didn't care they didn't give me the energy that i felt like i needed so it put me in a position to believe that people just didn't care and because they didn't care like why was i going to put in any effort the other way like i'm not going to reciprocate if i don't feel like you care like it's not coming back the other way and I tried to figure out a way how I could climb the ladder as I began to age. Like, how can I get to the next level? I wanted to be a division one athlete. Like, how can I get to the next level to get to college? I wanted to be an executive in a corporation. Like, how am I going to get to the next level in a corporation? I wanted to become a business owner and I wanted to speak life into kids around the world. Like, how am I going to be able to get to that point and next level? And what I found out is that, look, man, there's going to have to be a little bit of an attitude adjustment. You're going to have to start viewing things in a different light. And that's when I started to access the power of care. <laughs> there's so much power in caring. I'm going to tell you what it does for you, and I'm going to walk through what it did for me. And what we're going to do here is we're going to evaluate what it really takes to next level, what it takes to break down barriers, what it takes to get the provisions that you need to next level, and what it takes to really elevate not only you, but your community. That's what we're going to jump into. That's what we're going to dive in today. What does it take? Because there's those barriers, there's those things that are holding you back. And you want to know how to break through, but you're just like, Isaac, I just need the recipe. And I'm telling you right now. I got it. So buckle your seatbelts in. Let's jump into numero uno. How we can break down these barriers. All right, Madison, let's jump in to point number one. How can we break down these barriers through the power of care? Like how, how does this work, right? So look, I can only tell you from my personal experiences. Look, when I was your guys' age, there was a couple of dreams that I had. Like I wanted to become a division one college athlete. I wanted to figure out a way to get into a corporate structure and climb the corporate ladder. And I also wanted to figure out how can I become an entrepreneur and do my own thing. And I'll tell you this, the journey that I was going down to get there was this journey of selfish intent. 
Look, I just wanted to figure out how I could next level myself so I could take care of me and mine. That's really all I really cared about at the time. But what I found out is that there was these walls that I kept running into. And I was never able to get the access that I was wanting to get. Like I was never able to make the money that I wanted to make. I was never able to make the impact I was wanting to make. I was never able to build the relationships that I wanted to build. Why? Because everything was centered around this like selfish ambition. I just never broke through. So in 2017, me and my wife, we were sitting there and we were trying to figure out ways that we could actually help out the community because we really wanted to help the community out, but we didn't think of a way, we couldn't think of a way to do it at the next level. So my wife looked at me and she said, look, we should do a shoe drive for the homeless. I said, all right, bet. Yeah, let's get some shoes and then we'll just give some shoes to the people in our area. And she was like, no, let's do it for the whole state. I was like, what? I don't think that we'll get enough shoes to be able to pass and distribute them to homeless around the state. She said, look, watch, just see what happens. So we begin to collect these shoes around our community. The news outlet started reaching out like, what are you guys doing collecting all these shoes? We told them our plan and we begin to get more and more shoes to the point that it was like overwhelming. And I looked at my wife and I said, look at what the community is doing. We take all of these shoes, we put a team together and we begin to drive around the state of Washington looking for homeless population that we can begin to give shoes to. The most powerful thing was is as we began to travel around the state, we were running into people that had these barriers that they couldn't break through. Like, what are you talking about, Isaac? Of course, they're homeless, they got barriers. No, listen, I'm talking about barriers that we wouldn't even think twice about. Like this was the middle of winter, it's cold outside, there's snow on the ground in some of the areas that we were in and they couldn't even get up to walk to go get food, to get clothes because their feet were frozen solid. And when we drove up to them and we said, hey look, we got some shoes for you, what size do you want? Just look in the back, we got all types of sizes, whatever you need, we got it for you. And we're blessing people with these shoes, we're caring for them in a very unselfish intent. We ain't getting paid for this right now, I'm telling you right now, we ain't getting paid for it. They're looking at us and saying, you're giving me access to something that I didn't even know I could get access to right now. And as they begin to break through barriers, guess what happened? We begin to break through barriers. It's powerful. So we have a fun weekend there and we get back home. The news has another little story on us. And I get a call from the execs for the company I'm working for, it's a banking company. They call me and they say, Isaac, we see what you're doing. That was amazing. I didn't know that you had that inside of you. I said, yeah, man, me and my wife just wanted to do something special. They said, look, Isaac, I know you've been really working hard trying to get promotion. Like, I know you haven't been able to break through the barriers that you've been trying to break through, but I'm telling you right now, we didn't know that was inside of you. And because you're selfless, look, listen, we're going to offer you a promotion. Boom. Broke through the barrier that I couldn't get through. Why? Because there's power in caring for the people around you. I'm telling you right now, if there's barriers that you're not breaking through, you got to figure out how to be selfless and what it is that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. The little things. How can you help somebody else now? What, are the, how, what doors can you open up? Like what's the little text message that you can send for somebody that you know that's having a bad day? What's, what's the words of affirmation that you can give to somebody that you know is having a bad day? Like, like what's, what's some shoes, some clothes that you can give to somebody that you know that they just don't got the provisions for? Like how does this work? How can I break barriers for other people? I'm telling you right now, if you'll break barriers for others, the barriers you wanna break through, boom, you'll begin to run through them. There's power and caring. And once you begin to break those barriers, boom, you begin to start getting access to provisions. That's going to be point number two. Let's dive into that next. All right, Madison, let's jump into the second thing you get access to once you start to access the power of care. Like once you start breaking down the barriers that you didn't think you could break down, I'm telling you what happens, this is the way it works. Once the barriers or the walls begin to fall, you get into a position where you step into the moment, but you're looking around like, look, I just don't got the provisions necessary to make this thing work. Like the doors opened up for me, but like, what does it really take? What do I need? I don't got access to what I need to next level. And I'm telling you right now, as you begin to walk through this process, all of a sudden, the provisions that you want access to, they just begin to fall in your lap. 
the provisions that you need to next level as an individual, the provisions that you need to next level in school, the provisions that you need to next level in your family, the provisions that you need to next level your community, the provision that you need to next level your school, they'll just start to fall in your lap. We're talking about accessing the power of care. Once you begin to walk through it, it just starts to fall into your lap. Let me tell you how I know. So after me and my wife, we did this phenomenal exploit of handing out these shoes to the homeless around the state of Washington. We looked at each other and she came to me and she said, look, Isaac, I want to start a nonprofit. I'm looking at her like, look, I don't know how we're going to do this. Actually, I don't even know if we're going to be able to get the funding to be able to start this nonprofit. I don't know if it's possible. She looked at me and she said, look, Isaac, we already did an amazing thing. I think the community is behind us. I mean, we broke through one barrier. I promise you, because we broke through that, the provisions that we want access to, they're just going to start to fall into our laps. I said, all right. So we wrote up the plan, we put it out, and we presented it to our community. We wanted to be able to send students around the country to leadership camps that they just can't afford. So we put the idea out to the community and they remember the barriers that we broke through before with the homeless. <laughs> and when we launched the nonprofit, all the provisions that we thought we weren't gonna be able to have access to, all of a sudden began to pile up. Why? Because we had already started accessing the power of care. When you begin to start looking outside of yourself and want to expand the reach of your unselfish nation, want to expand the reach of caring for the individuals around you, the students around you, the families that are around you, the community that's around you. You don't have to worry about having enough to be able to handle it because I'm telling you, once you access the power of care, the provisions that you want, they just begin to unfold themselves right into your laps. You got to be willing to be consistent in your acts of caring for the people around you. So check this out. Once we were able to get access to the provisions that we needed, all of a sudden it was time to next level and elevate. And we begin to see our lives going in this brand new direction that we didn't even think possible. Why? Because we begin to access the power of care. All right, guys, we're going to jump into the third element that you get access to once you unleash the power of care. Like once you begin to adopt a character of caring, once your identity is centered around caring for the people around you, once that's just a part of your nature. Caring gives you access to elevation, the next level. Once you begin to adopt caring in your everyday life, what just naturally happens is you begin to elevate. What naturally happens is not only do you elevate, but your community around you begins to elevate. Let me tell you what happened with us, man. I told you we did the homeless thing. We start the nonprofit. The nonprofit starting to grow. But guess what started to happen in the process? We got this amazing group of individuals that came around us. And there was this Wake Up Nation Foundation community that was birthed. And inside of this community, you started to see the individuals in their own personal careers begin to elevate to next levels. Promotions, their business is growing, elevation all around the room. Why? Because there's power in caring for others. What I'm trying to get you to understand is once you begin to adopt a caring mindset, what will happen is the individuals around you will start to get promotion. <laughs> They'll start to next level. And while you're elevating to new heights, you're only pushing your community around you to new heights. Your school is going to new heights. Your teachers see that there's this different level inside of you, like you actually care what's going on. You're putting in the effort. Your teachers begin to go to new heights. <laughs> Your friends see that there's this different shine in you. Like all of a sudden you care at a different level, not just for your grind, not just for your rise, but for theirs. You see and you're invested in them. And all of a sudden your friends begin to next level. All of a sudden you get into a community that has adopted caring as a culture. In other words, 
you have a caring community. <laughs> Madison, I'm telling you that in order for you to access this community that you can thrive in, this community that you can next level in, this community that will allow you to break down barriers, this community that will allow you to access the provisions and all the things that you are looking to access, this provision that, that will allow you to next level. I'm telling you, once you access the power of care, you yourself, you'll begin to elevate and the people around you will too. We got to create a thriving community if we're going to continue to the next level over these next couple of weeks. So I want you to look inside of yourself and figure out ways that you can begin to adopt this unselfish nature of caring for the people around you. How you can begin to access the power of care. It's there for the taking. You just got to be willing to adopt it and watch your life next level. Hey, look, man, this is just the first week. We're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to look at ways that you, yourself, I, your school, everyone can next level. And we're going to take it right there. And that's to the next level. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Make sure again that you are challenging yourself to care for the people around you. Come on, just get get unique with it. Think of out of the box ways that you can go out of your way to next level the people around you and care for them in a genuine manner. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Deuces. Don't forget to participate with the ASB activities. Come on, y'all. We talking about next leveling. So look, the more you get involved, the better chance you have of winning these Apple AirPods. You already know what time it is, man. We're coming at you from Wake Up Nation ourselves, man. We trying to invest in y'all. We want to see y'all next level. So don't forget to participate. Calling of course, listen to only him, buckle the seat button, follow the course, follow the source, calling the